Hey guys and welcome back to the Fans Perspective and that is right, another week, another match day, another match day vlog. And in today's video we are heading back to the London Stadium. Yeah, it's starting to feel like a bit of a repetitive sentence now, but we are watching West Ham versus Silkeborg. Now West Ham are undefeated in the Conference League so far, I believe six out of six wins. But then again, Silkeborg are not a team to be massive. They just did come off the back of two 5-0 victories. And the last time they did play West Ham, it ended 3-2. The bookies odds are obviously, of course, West Ham to be favourites, to be four to nine for West Ham and also the poll does say it as well. Uh, Mr. Thumbnail, Big Tez, does say a 2-1 victory for West Ham, but I feel it's got to be more goals at home, but Silkeborg will still score, so I'm going to go 3-1. If you do enjoy these videos, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you know when a video goes live and be the first person to watch it. I'll try and get a few more predictions before we do get into it, but yeah, let's get to the ground. Lineups are as shown here. Alright, let's keep getting to the ground, come on. Penroll uh, Westar. Penroll Westar. In comparison to last time, we've actually got here a pretty decent time and we're not rushing. That is true. Uh, yeah. We actually got in and out pretty quickly. Yeah, so, you know, hopefully it's a good game. Let's see what the atmosphere is like. I see the away fans in full force. This should be quite interesting, especially if they score. Just do the last minute prediction. So, Philly, what do you think? 1-0 uh, to West Ham. Who do you miss the score? God, um, Ben Rama. Ben Rama and Big Willie Boy. I'm going 3-0. Uh, ben Rama, Lanzini and... Uh, Lanzini double. I'm sticking with 3-1. Go on, boys. First chance of the game goes West Ham's way. It's been countless pressure from the home side. They managed to get the ball in the box with Paul Heather. <laughs> Big chance for Antonio, just said. To be fair, he did spin his man. Decent shot on target. West Ham have a corner right in front of us. Long story short, a terrible corner. West Ham seems to be doing pretty well down the wings. They can get the ball into the box, but they got no aerial threat. Just handed a chance at an early goal. There's a poor challenge for the goalkeeper. It's late, but he's stripped up. Rest given a penalty. Big chance. What corner? Huh? What corner? Bottom left. Bottom left. First chance of the game for the away side. To be fair, it's a pretty decent effort, but straight the goalkeeper had the right power, just poor placement. It's really become the story of the first half here. West Ham can get it down their lines, but if Kufel does not improve his crossing, 
Silk Borg might be able to grab something from this game. They're getting into the box, they can just about clip their head on it, but not worrying the keeper at all. Forty-five minutes played, obviously clear dominance from West Ham is what we expected. I did expect the away fans and the actual away players to put a bit more of a fight. But it's nice to see if the away is pretty decently full anyway. But yeah, I'm going to pass you on for the half-time talk to the people that's with me. So let's go. It's 1-0 West Ham and the only sign that the away team are actually here is just their fan base really who haven't shot up all game even when losing. Um, apart from that, it's just been West Ham dominance. Probably going to see more of it in the second half. First half. Was great. <laughs> Looks like they're way so about their one shot of the half. <laughs> to be fair, I say that that was actually a really decent effort. Big save from Ariola. Corner for the away side now. West Ham did score a second goal, but it was given offside. Decent, well worded move, but flag was always going to go up. It looks as if David Moyes will try and get some extra goals, bring some more firepower on up top. Ben Rama's come up, they brought in Skamaka. First time the duo of Skamaka and Antonio have played together, look should be decent. I think they changed into about a 4 4 2. You've got to give it to the away side. They are trying to hit West Ham on the break. They've come close a few times, but yeah, come on, the result is definitely going to happen. 15 minutes. Yeah, are you still confident there's going to be another goal in this game? Ah, uh, this game, this game is so fun. Yeah, it's just fun. Content. 1-0. One nil. One nil. <laughs> the biggest chance of the second half, eight minutes ago, decent head, it was dipping, but just over the post. <laughs> So that's it then boys full time terrible game and uh, yeah i can't really say much more about that so i'll pass you on to will because yeah oh. you can probably say it better than i can oh okay here we go five minutes of fame um yeah don't if you made it for this final video i feel bad for you um go watch the Anderlecht one because other than a penalty it was generally just a bunch of rowdy danish teenagers and that's all they Sufal really were can't cross the ball. yeah and we've learned that Sufal can't cross the ball um but that was common knowledge and also shout out to finney her socials are here the question i want to leave for you today is who do you start in golf for west ham do you start fabianski or do you start Ariola? Ariola has been the man for european nights if you do like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live. We just hit 2,500 subscribers. Happy to all of you join the family. If you have any questions or queries, drop it down in that comment section. I'll try and answer every single one of them. And I'll see you guys <laughs> in the next one. See ya.